The next question is that uh, Your Excellency established Minhaj al Quran 25 years back. Uh, can you explain uh, what were the aims and objectives set? And uh, could you put some light, shed some light on the thing that how much the, those uh, objectives and aims are fulfilled? Alhamdulillah, Minhaj al Quran was laid down and it was formed about 25 years, 24, 25 years back and this is and I started this mission with this aim and objective that this was going to be the mission of revival of Islam. Revival of Islam. Objectives set for this mission of Minhaj al-Quran the path of Islam, the path of Quran was number one, reformation of the generations of Muslim Ummah, particularly the younger generations of Muslim Ummah, to reform their morals, their behaviors, their aqeedah, to bring them to the right path. So this was the reformative objective, reforms. Second was the revival of deen, tajdeed, al-islah, and the second was at-tajdeed. Tajdeed means the revival of the knowledge of deen, aqaid of deen, protection, the aqeedah as-sahiyah, and the knowledge al-ilm as-sahih, ilm of Quran, ilm of hadith, ilm of fiqh, ilm of sufiya, tasawwuf, this was being scattered, distorted, alterations, distortions, and corruptions had entered into the al ilm as sahih and al aqidah as sahih And there were multidimensional attacks on the aqidah of Ummah. There were materialistic attacks to detract them from the way. There are philosophical and scientific and secular attacks to detract from the faith of Islam and Quran and Sunnah. And there were cultural attacks and you can say the other attacks, temperamental, sexual and behavioral attacks on the Muslim Ummah, particularly the younger generation, they were not being given the scientific presentation of Islam. They were not being given the spiritual presentation of Islam. They were not being given the practical presentation of Islam, so that Islam should be understood as a practical and workable and acceptable model in these centuries. So their aqidah was being distorted and their amal, their behavior, their conduct, that was being distorted. So three things that the main objectives, number one, al-Islah to reform the generations as much as possible. Number two, to do tajdeed of deen as the mujaddideen of ummah have been doing in their relevant centuries. And that was the revival of the ilm of deen. And the third was ikama, to promote and uplift the values of deen of Islam. To uplift the values of Islam.